Just dropped off the Mustang GT 2022. We're gonna wrap it. I told you guys we were doing mods. We're gonna wrap it uh, Nardo gray with some black touches. It should look sick. So it'll be done in about a week. So we'll be back. Status update for Instagram on my project down in Columbia. Boom, here we go. All right, so still got to work on the uh, shared bathroom. This is probably the most unfinished thing in the house. As we come in, <clears throat> start painting the walls. This is my version of worldly gray, which is what I use in the States. But for down here, some of the walls look kind of pinkish. That's because of the paint underneath. Flooring is pretty much done. As you'll see, we're doing like a towel that looks like wood. All the way out to the balcony. There's the balcony. Got to paint all this. We're going to have glass sliding doors. We're going to have a jacuzzi over there. A space to sit down, eat. So this is going to be the living room. Have a little sitting area right here. Just got the artwork right there. This is going to be closed off. This is going to be the laundry room, washer and dryer right there, uh, water tank over here, and like utilities. As you can see on the ceiling, we got can lighting. Um, should be lots of it. This over here is going to be the kitchen area. We got the cabinetry getting set up together the cabinetry that's actually going out oh I hear a car outside yeah that's a little too, <laughs> a little too loud that's my car actually my WRX but anyway this is going in the master bathroom this is gonna be the dining room over here to get that cabinetry together kitchen island right here we have the uh, the stove and whatnot over here the um, refrigerator over to the left the cabinet in, in the middle it's gonna be real nice this is going to be your breakfast area, balcony, you can leave out from the kitchen. You can also walk through from the master bedroom, which is right here. Got a little office area off of the master bedroom with a closet that we're going to you know, put some cabinets in. TV hookup over here. we we'll put a cabinet below the TV. Put some artwork on this wall. Put your, your bed over here on this wall. Master bathroom right here. The two sinks over here. They tiled up the, the bathroom as you can see. This is the shower. All of the bathrooms got overhead showers. So this will be master bathroom right there. Master bedroom. Come out the master bedroom to living room area, the kitchen, dining room over there. Let's go back in the back. This is the this is either an office or a fourth bedroom right here. Make a little trim. It's got a small, every bedroom has its own bathroom, so it's perfect for Airbnb. A little toilet right there, sink right there, shower overhead. So that's a small bedroom. This bedroom right here is a little bit bigger. A little closet for, you know, your guests. Just built this uh, overhead. We're going to put some lighting in that. Ceiling fans in every bedroom as well. 
bigger bathroom you can see over there. Nice size shower with the overhead, sink, toilet. Moving right along, moving right along to get the cabinet sheet together, like I said. And this is the second master right here. So this room is a little bit quieter. It's a little, a little more cozy, smaller than the other master bedroom. But the, the benefit of this bedroom, like I said, is quieter because it's at the back of the house, no traffic. But look at this big, giant um, uh, bathroom with the walk-in, you know, so the closet. So there'll be a closet on the left, his and hers, closet on the right. There'll be a sink on the right, sink on the left. Of course, your shower, toilet right there. Real sexy, real sexy. So that's the update with my project, Airbnb, many in Columbia, but guess what? I got two more. All right, here's the other project I'm working on, 203. Yep, building walls at this point and laying um, plumbing, and they're filling the plumbing up already. As you can see, plumbing lines is filled up. This is gonna be the kitchen over here, so everyone's gonna be a little bit different. This is the house that I think I'm gonna move into, so we're gonna set this one off. But, walk in here, um, actually this is gonna be closed off. Entrance to the laundry room and the bedroom will be right here. Come right in. Laundry room right here. Bedroom between these doors where we got, they built a header. So I don't know if I can get past this to show you guys. Let's see. All right, so master bedroom, we're building the walls. This is the walls and everything for the master bathroom. Double vanity will be right there. Nice size shower with the rain shower head. Toilet will be over there. On this side over here, we got entrance into the large master uh, bedroom closet, which will be right here. Put all my clothes and stuff in there. Then, of course, master bedroom. Have your two lights and a king size bed in here with a TV and stuff on that wall. Nice little desk to store more clothes. Real nice. Can't wait, man. This is definitely going to be my room right here. Love it. All right, so let's go back out. This is the laundry room area. So here's the laundry room area. Right here. Pantry over here to the left and the entrance to this area. The question is, am I gonna have a door? Yeah, I'll have a door right here to the master bedroom and this will be open. I'm, I'm sure this will be open to the, the pantry area. Or yeah, pantry and the uh, laundry room right there. This will be closed off. So I gotta build a wall right here. But yeah, this is the, of course, the living room, obviously. Kitchen over here. That's gonna be where you wash the dishes and everything. I'll put some cabinets up up across here, and <clears throat> probably a row of lower cabinets on that side. Island in the middle. Then we're building a place for the um, refrigerator to go over here, and the stove over here, and then everything else will be over there um, by the by the sink. So it should be real nice. Your dining room area right here with a place for the TV. That'll be nice. This is your, my office is gonna be right here. We're saving a little space to build out the kitchen a little bit. Uh, yeah, so let's go into the back. You can see they're running the plumbing like this. They're covering it up right there. One of the bedrooms here. I'm gonna have to redo this closet. <clears throat> this bathroom is being redone right now with the shower in the corner, the sink right in front, and the toilet over there. All right, that'll be the shared bathroom. Then we we'll have a bedroom, nice size bedroom back here, right? <clears throat> With your closet right there in front, and then television over on this side. So you can put the bed where I'm standing, or you can put the bed over there by by the window. I'm not sure. I think probably where I'm standing is better than to have the TV off to the right <clears throat> with a swivel. Little light switch right there. Ceiling fans in every bedroom. This space right here, we will probably make a part of the closet for this bedroom right here. 
extend this closet a little bit. All right, and this is the second master. This will be um, a place for a TV and a desk right below it. And blow out that header right there. Nice walk-in closet will be right here. Not sure how we'll configure it yet. And then you'll have a master, second master bathroom, which is a little smaller. Not sure how I like this toilet sitting right here. Not sure how I like that. It's almost like we need to blow out one of these walls. So we gotta talk about that. But the toilet sitting right there is a little inconvenient. But you'll have another bathroom here and uh, with a shower. So I think this will be Reg's room if he wants whenever he comes down. So that's where we're at with it. So this is taking a little bit longer than it would take in the in the States. But we're moving. We're moving. I'm excited. Like I said, this is this is going to be the apartment that uh, that I stay in when I come down here. I'm loving how it feels. I like it. The view is a little different. Like the other apartments have a view of the front, whereas this one has a view of the back of the park. But it's quieter. It'll be real nice. It'll be real nice. I like this one. So, yeah, so you guys stay tuned. Uh, and I just picked up my fourth apartment. My, the, my goal was to get that fourth apartment by the end of the year, and yep, we've done it. So, let me go show that one to you. So, here's apartment number four that I just picked up. A little darker. I'll turn the light on real quick. All right, there we go. So, you share bathroom in the front. This is what the apartments look like before doing any remodeling. So, my buddy is staying here. Like, we got five people here right now so he's got this whole apartment to itself but this is sort of the old-fashioned look how the apartments look before um so this is normally you know your living room and everything got the balcony over there got the kitchen not not the kitchen but the dining room area got a little space here to make make an office or whatnot you got this uh office area over here then we got three bedrooms in the back so one bedroom here Got a bathroom right here. Let me see, let me turn the light on for you guys. Little bathroom, a little bit old, older, of course. And we got a couple bedrooms back here. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put my buddy on blast. But got a couple bedrooms back here. Yeah. So this is what the apartments look like before remodel. So <clears throat> we got some work to do. Now the kitchen area. I like open concept, so we'll probably open this one up. I think I'm gonna make this one just like the one that I just showed you on the other side. So we'll make a bedroom back here. Look at this, got that. The laundry area, the maid's quarters is back here. I don't know why this is closed. It's the maid's quarters back here. And there, then you got the view of the park right there. So the plan with this one is not to start this one until we finish the other ones. I don't want to have three apartments in construction at the same time, um, maximum two in construction. So we won't start this one until I finish the one downstairs, which hopefully should be done in a few weeks. So yeah, let's see what else we got going on. Got the Christmas tree. Let's see what's in the kitchen. What they got going on here? back again with another video and we are on our way to pick up the new 2022 Mustang GT now wrapped in Nardo gray from an Atlas blue paint color so we're gonna go see how it turned out so you guys get ready for the big reveal so y'all stay tuned 
for an excellent episode on Will Motivation. Mustang GT500 real quick. Let's do it. About to go check out the, the not the GT500, the Mustang GT 2022. Brand new wrap. Let's check it out. This car is um, a brand new Mercedes Benz. ¿Qué modelo es? ¿Qué modelo es? Pero el LA. LA 200. LA 200. Okay. It's a LA Mercedes Benz LA 200. The thing that's crazy about this, right, is he put the body kit on and it's custom. So basically, down in Columbia, what he did, somebody spent like fifteen thousand dollars on a body kit for the same car. He had, he borrowed the body kit pieces off that car and had his people make them out of fiberglass and put them on his car. So check out the work. Custom. Oh, 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 oh. Look, the spoilers to, to make the car. Like oh, yeah, yeah. oh, okay. You need to buy me one of those. All custom, gloss black. All custom. That's dope. Came out dope. So we gotta go for a ride in that for sure. Okay, so. Yes. And so it's Paul and Nombre de Timidocio. And Pro Rap. Pro Rap here in Medellin, Colombia. He's the best person to, to rap cars in Medellin, Medellin, Colombia. He rapped this car, did it custom. Nardo Gray with the piano black accent. So let's go ahead and check it out. Crank Lucas in the building. because he helped me get the, the rims and the calipers painted to go along with the thing because before the rims were like gray or like a silver color which wouldn't go well with the Nardo but he got the wheels painted gloss black for me and the calipers so let's go take a look. Gracias amigo. 
Let's take a look. Mira, mira, mira. Oh, ¿te, te puedes eh, mostrar las luces? Y... So check out the, how the, the lights for lights look. Sí, sí, sí. This car was blue, you can't see any blue. Look, all of this is, is, is red. That's crazy. Crazy. All of that's red. All of the inside is red. Okay, so I had to say thanks to Paul because he hooked this up. Some of you riding this style down here in Colombia. Beautiful, beautiful, awesome. So I can't wait to ride it. Say thanks to Daniel also. That's your thing. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching today's video. There's a lot more to come. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys 
have been asking me about when is my online course going to be ready. Well, I have good news for you. My online course is completed. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can click on that link and get a 40% discount off the course. That'll be for the first 50 students. So if you're ready to take the online course that I've basically laid out everything that I know about how to invest in real estate, click the link below or just go to www dot willmotivation.com slash invest and i thank you guys for taking the time out to watch today's video hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next one peace